Welcome back to Pathologic 2. Last episode, we spoke with Capella and then tried to speak with Big Vlad, but for some reason their quest marker and the ability to speak with them just disappeared, I think, after speaking with Capella? Not really sure what happened there, but it probably doesn't matter. I was going to ask them to open up the termitary, but I don't think they would or even really could. We know it was young Vlad that actually ordered it closed. Yeah, I don't think I can talk with young Vlad either because they're not even marked on the map. Their place here. They're probably not even here. They're probably still back at the, um, the Broken Heart. Anyway, let's head over to to speak with Sabrov at the town hall, and along the way I'm going to stop at the grocery store. Whoops, because I have a pretty good amount of money and I want to stockpile more food, of course. Doing well on, uh, ooh, need to eat. Could do with some sleeping, but don't have to. Alright, everybody's lining up to become a patrolman. This is the grocery store, right? 288 for smoked fish, 525 for bread. It's so cheap. Okay. I'll, I'm going to eat quite a bit of this, actually. Definitely buy the walnuts. Bread, milk, smoked fish. Let's eat the big stuff right now, which probably should be the bread. Yeah, my hunger's super high. Drink the milk. Okay, that's good for now. And that costs so little money. Amazing. Just beautiful. Where do you think you're going, buddy? I'm here on important business. Everyone's here on important business. I'm not here to join the watch. I don't give a damn. Wait for your turn like everyone else. Get off my case. What can I talk to you about? Sobrov sure seems ready to take up the reins of power. It's about time, if you ask me. Why is that? Because he can't trust people, that's why. The rule of the three families was about trust in each other and in the townsfolk. The damned nobles trusted people to govern themselves. And the people? They are unruly beasts. They don't respond to kindness, only strength. Yeah, in my experience, people respond better to kindness. There's no point in arguing with you lot. Ill-timed. What now? Oh, it's you. We made you a prime suspect yesterday. By mistake. Sorry, that was rash. You're too convincing a suspect. But I won't hear you complain. The error wasn't irrevocable. Last time I gave them some shit, but what's the point? It's like talking to a brick wall. Did you find my father's murderer? I had no investigation. There's no organized search. I hold no official post here in case you had any illusions on that part. My power is that of reputation. Traditionally, our family enforces order in the town on the rare occasions that it's broken. And those are rare, believe me. This is a peaceful little town. How can you talk about order if no one's looking for the murderer? Spare me the sarcasm, Bura. Let's get this straight. You're still a suspect, and you'll be a suspect until the murderer is found and proven guilty. The only reason you're walking free is something called the presumption of innocence. Do I make myself clear? Good thing some smart people told you about that. Anything else I can help you with? My house is locked. Do you have the key? The house was locked by the committee that examined the crime scene. There may be evidence. It's in your best interest, and that of the committee. And... what did the committee find? Nothing of interest. We don't have any professional investigators in town. Is it so hard to understand? Although, one bachelor Dankovsky, who the kinds invited from the capital, expressed an interest in their summary. 
I found it appropriate to share their findings with him, so you may inquire with him. I will. Now I need the key. You may have the key. That house is your property, and I have no legal grounds to prevent your access. Exactly. So, need to go back to my house and also speak with Bachelor Dankowski? I guess not, they're not actually marked on the map. Hold on, what was added? I have the key and home sweet home is locked. Okay. Oh yeah. What are they doing with their hand? More food, visit my house. Let's go there right now. Hey, Raisin Boy. Some of us wait for you at the square. The bridge square, that is, in the stone yard. You know how to get there. Yes. I do know where that is, right? Isn't that right in front of the cathedral? Uh, yeah, I grew up here. I'm good. A fingernail. Four. Four. I'm not going to trade walnuts. Nah. Yeah, it's over here. I think this is where they tell me about the game. Hey, Tot. I think that's their name. Two marbles for immunity boosters. That's worth it. Alright, I'll see you over at my house. At my house now. I just had a thought. You know how going in here disturbs the black cloud of plague and... It disappears. It moves outside, to be more accurate. What if I just didn't come in here? Would the infection not spread from here? That, that seems very, very unlikely. I'm pretty sure the black plague cloud would just spread on its own. I don't think me making it move causes the plague to spread here. <clears throat> Alright, let's go through this house pretty fast. I know there's a lot of stuff stored in the drawers. I'm not going to have room for most of it. Oh yeah, we're talking. This is where it is. Is the first sight of the plague, and now it will start to spread. Ooh, a fresh scalpel. Nice. I'm not going to play the music this time because it's exceedingly creepy. spare key, but these key thefts, question mark, are becoming concerning. Your equipment is far from cheap, is it not? It would serve no one if it gets stolen. And do keep in mind that if our small arrangement is uncovered, I too will have to bear the consequences. Right, it was young Vlad who had a relationship with Isidore and provided them with the hideout, so this is the key to the hideout, right. Okay, finally, I have a home. And herbs, and I can make tinctures. Succeed. 
It is not old age or what comes after it that worries me. I am instead beset by the thought that I might fail to pass on my role. Make haste, son. I truly need you. Your loving father, Isidore Burr. Didn't have room for Black Twire. Oh, it's because I've got more than a stack. Hmm. Let's drop bloody bandage. This is oh yeah, this opens. Oh Jesus! What was that sound? Ugh, it's so cold, isn't it? Like cold, cold. I wonder if this is. The death, Clara. And maybe the black cloud that moved out is them and it just moved down here. I came to pay my last respects to your father. Don't force me out. Did you know him? I didn't. He was already dead when I arrived. So you're just doing it for appearances. I talk to people a lot, and they said a lot of good things about your father. Talking to people is my greatest skill, you know. They open up and turn from puppets to actual living humans. Are you going to live here now? <laughs> live here yourself if you want. It'd be interesting if they took me up on that offer. Are they going to? Are you going to disappear when I turn around? No. Gloves. Um. Oh, I need to keep this on me because it's the key itself, as well as the letter. Fresh bandage. Uh, is there something I can get rid of that's just bad? I guess I really don't need one extra black wire, right? Oh yeah, some tinctures. Though to be honest, I don't actually need them. <laughs> what the hell is that? Cotton wool. What? How is that an item that I've never seen before? I've never seen that ever in the game in my entire playthrough. That's really strange. Was well, definitely something I'm gonna keep then, just in case it'll come in handy somewhere. I can't imagine where. Let's do this to save space. Let's eat the smoked fish. I don't think it'll be a waste. No. And I'll just like put these back in here. I'll put the lockpick in here too. Like lockpicks aren't worth that much, really. I mean, I guess I have the space for it all, don't I? Oh wait, no, I'm trying to make space for this. Right. Looks like stuffing of some sort. In the wide world, a surgeon's best friend. But back here, people take surgery less seriously. And disinfectant is mostly taken by mouth. Okay. A slave. You call him a slave. Why are you here? I live here. Well, I come bearing a sanitary order, so I'm here to examine and quarantine the place. You won't like it in there. Really? Why? Something's wrong in there. Is that so? Still, with your kind permission, I insist on examining the place. Even your unkind permission would do. But if you struggle to provide even that, I'll do fine without your consent at all. I hope I don't need to threaten you at gunpoint. <laughs> what, do they actually have a gun? 
I warned you. By the way, what is this strange... mold, I guess? Is it mold? That thing your house is covered in. Do houses often get scabs around these parts? Oh, the infection's already starting. I thought it didn't start till tomorrow. Yep. There it goes. Got all the people over here checking it out. Which is very bad. I kind of want to go home just to dump off a lot of stuff and get some more freaking inventory space, you know? I am kind of close. And baby Vlad is in here. Yeah. Let's head over there. What's going on back here? What are you gawking at? Do you know who he is? He's Whitebeard's son. His dad went crazy yesterday and hurt people. So now you want to stone him to death? He started it. There's a bit too many of you and only one of him, don't you think? He's the same as his father. Ask him. Ask him why his dad is called Whitebeard. Ask him. I'd rather ask you. That's because he's a drunk. He gets smashed and attacks people. He raised a hand against my mom last year. A son does not answer for his father's actions. Why do you get in our way? One way or the other, we'll get him. Go get his father if you want, but leave the kid alone. I won't tell you twice. Jeez, fuck off. My dad didn't hurt anyone yesterday. Tell them to get off me. Even if he did, it wasn't your fault. Oh, I already did. That's kind of, I guess, if you spoke with them before speaking with the others. Let's go speak with the baby Vlad. By the way, it's very satisfying to navigate down here while sprinting. Like, let, let my stamina get up a bit more to do this is very fun without like getting caught up on anything. It's very fun. It's very satisfying. Our big city guest is a little too fast on the draw, isn't he? Fancy a drink. I found a note and a key in father's house. Signed V.O. Were you the one who granted him access to a factory cellar? So you found it. I hope you had enough sense not to mention it to my father, also a V.O., who happens to own the factory, all its cellars, and all its workers. Whoa, you rebelled against your father? How did it happen? My dear Art to me, I appreciate that you're a straightforward man, so I'll be honest with you. Your people, or rather, what's left of them, that whole community called the Kin, they all but belong to my family. To my father, the Kin are a commodity. The workforce for the Bull Enterprise. Father told me it's more like slavery. Oh, I quite agree. Well, you should know that I don't condone my esteemed father's methods, and I will rule the Bull Enterprise one day. As an insightful and assiduous owner, I would like to create a more productive and efficient foundation for our industrial empire. Do you understand? I do. I would like to revive the kin and its... Dignity. I'm fond of your traditions. They are unusual, almost miraculous. I don't believe in mysticism, but one has to accept the obvious facts. So I chose to give your father an opportunity to study some of them. So you're a philanthropist, huh? No, I'm a selfish man, acting entirely in his own interest. Slave labor is inefficient, for one. The kin are dying out under these unbearable work conditions. I don't want to be the owner of a ruined and broken, well, asset, robbed of any will to flourish. Pardon my cynicism. Well, at least they're honest. Well, 
Grimsky's son, Vlad Jr., has granted my father access to a secret room below one of the factory buildings. I feel it will become my new home. Oh, yes, it will. Do I, uh, do I have more herbs to sell? Do I want to sell more herbs? Oh, it's the brown twire, right. No, I don't have any brown twire at all. I sold it all for food. Right. Let's head over to my home and dump off some stuff. Is it right away when we first go down here that we get all the tutorial stuff about how to brew, or is that later on? And is Sticky already down here? I don't remember exactly how that plays out. Yeah, Sticky's here. Hey, buddy. So I wonder why I have a toy, quote unquote toy, that's called the Tumblr Human, I think. That isn't really just a toy, or at least like it's modeled after actual creatures. These wonders that we only saw towards the end of the game. I wonder why. People must have seen these creatures before. My father? I mean, I guess that's no surprise. Going to the Apatow and whatnot, and you'll eventually see them, I think. What are you afraid of? That they'll get mad? Huh? I didn't touch anything. Hmm. Old friend of mine, I see. Well, I'm not leaving. You got that? I got it, I got it. Are you catching rats or something? Why are you yelling at me? Old man and I, we used to do a lot of stuff here. I even figured out how to crystallize blue salt. Made extracts myself. You think I was just helping him? I know a lot of stuff. What is that thing on the table, then? Did you make it all by yourself, hmm? No need to be nasty. Mind your manners, what is that thing? It's a mixer. Old man used to make medicine here. Like, tinctures, I think he called it. Extracts. From all kinds of gross stuff. So you know how to operate it? For some reason, neither of them works. Can you fix them? And I'll... I'll do anything, just don't make me go. Let's see. Perhaps I can fix them. Ah, I forgot that even the other one needed to be fixed to begin with. I probably have this stuff on me. Yeah. Ah, right. Here's the tumbler, human. Well, I don't need their help. Although it's really just me talking to myself, trying to remember things from when I was a child, I think. I hear you now. Speak, but waste no breath. Ah, my old friend. No one better to talk with than my own damn self. Now, he would have said, this place is our true home. One can work here. Yes, home is where your work is. You can sleep here. This is a good hideout. The door has a strong lock, and not many people know about this lair. You can perform operations here, and of course, make medicines. Without being disturbed by anyone. Live here, son. Live here, and continue our work. This place is yours now. Here you can do anything. like speaking to my childhood toy. The Olympic works, Golden Hands. Now let's review what it's for. Remember Olmar's? Of course, it's a tincture made from herbs. Correct. So we already know about this. Wondrous herbs, mm-hmm. They can uncover the symptoms of a disease. How would you make a tincture? need to combine any two different herbs. This way, a link will form. Clear water and two different herbs. Mm -hmm. 
They are. This place is well stocked. You've always been thrifty, old man. Ah, right. This sort of like timeless thing where you get to learn how to use this thing. So I'm supposed to get it all from here. And then make something. It's under a men who knowledge. Tincture is a mixture of water and herbs. Tinctures are brewed from various herbs. Tinctures require clean water from barrels or fountains. Supposed to try to treat them. Ah, right, to give them an immunity booster. Good. Let's get down to curing people. What always comes first? Diagnostics. Correct again. Pain. Of course, we must keep the pain in check. I'll stick to morphine. Oh, we're doing morphine before we even do any sort of treatment, right? Yeah, so I thought too much pain would maybe... I could maybe potentially kill somebody. But I think what somebody said in the comments is that the only real downside to pain is that it can obscure diagnostics. It's even said it a couple times where, it's, where I've tried to use a diagnostic and over here it says like pain too high. Um, yeah, the pain can be too high so that when you use a tincture it doesn't actually reveal anything. It can't work properly. So I don't think there's any real danger from pain being too high. Other than just wasting your resources. Mm. Now it's time for the most important part. Mm -hmm. The three, three layers of the body. I was supposed to make one of each color. Black and red, black and brown, and then red and brown. Give them a yas. Didn't help in patients in pain. Nerves, or no blood rather. And it's blood. Give them the antibiotics. There we go. You'll make a great healer. A healer I'll be proud of. I'm so sorry you won't be around to see it, father. It's so sad. It's such a tender moment, the Tumblr human. And are those things actually in here? Oh, another pair of cloth clothes. These are in terrible condition, though. Some money. A zir plus. Some crafting stuff. The dragonfly eye. I learned from the comments a while ago that that dragonfly eye is apparently a backer-specific item for people who backed the game years and years ago on Kickstarter, which I did, which is why I have it. I think there's other stuff that's also supposed to be in the game because of being a backer. I, I don't know what they are, though. I don't think I ever encountered them before. I don't know. Maybe it's the cotton wool. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> anyway, um, well, I guess I might as well make tinctures right now, right? Or maybe not. I don't think there's any reason to at the moment. There's no infection, so there's nothing I can do with the tinctures, right? Unless somebody calls on me today to help them. Like, is today the day they call me about the uh, kid? I forgot their name, but I remember at one point they want me to try to help a kid that's infected. No, the infection hasn't even really quite started yet, or at least people aren't aware of it, so I don't think that would be today. Because I kind of want to wait till I have brown twire. Anyway, inventory management. Let's see if... Let's see if I can uh, fix anything that I have. Oh, I don't have any chisels, so I can't do that. I don't have any red thread. Mm. Oh, this doesn't even need repair. <laughs> nah, I don't have the stuff. What do I need to upgrade my inventory for the first time? Red thread, needle, and then basic cloth. Okay, that is super important. I might even avoid buying some food just for the sake of getting cloth, maybe? It is kind of that important. Got my inventory pretty well organized, so I dumped the herbs, a bunch of the extra water, and some of the larger 
like repairing items, the bandage, the cotton wool. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm going to need to sleep soon, but I think I'm probably just going to take some of my coffee beans until I'm sure that there's nothing more to do for the day. So I think that's all there is to do here for now. Can I talk to Sticky again? Oh, yeah. They say it's healthy, but the taste is just... Oh. Hello? Anyone in there? Can you hear me? For a moment, you just stood there. Feeling bad, maybe? The air is thick here in September. Breathe in too deep and you'll pass out. I was just remembering father. So, does it work now? Only one of them. Would you like me to look for scrap metal? What do you need to fix it? Cogs and stuff? I'll need a special toolkit for it. Oh. You can find toolkits in shops, uh, but rarely. But it's doable. But I don't think anyone's selling one now. But if I see one, I'll let you know. Yeah, if you find one, let me know. Maybe we'll finally do that quest to uh, talk to the shopkeeper, distract him, while Sticky steals some stuff, and maybe this time it won't be broken? Since I'll actually be doing it when I was supposed to. But I think that's probably tomorrow, isn't it? Ah! No hair! Hello? Warn me of danger? Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Anything to say? Alright, let's give you a name. Before I called them no hair. You know what, I think I gotta stick with that name. They're always gonna be partner. Yeah, no hair, partner. Yes, it suits you. Just heading over to the nutshell. Since I've got a marker here for that. I got seven matches. I'm surprised how little I use my lantern in my other playthrough. Just very rarely. Hmm. Peanuts for two matches. But just got marked. Oh, some evenings, kids gather at the station. It just became evening. Well, I'll go there in a second. And if they want me to fix that projector thing here, I actually have the stuff to do it. I remember it took me a long time to be able to do that in my last playthrough. Oh, it's not there. Oh, this awkward conversation that I'm interrupting and then Clara's outside when I leave, right? What? You've interrupted a difficult conversation. I think you should leave. What are you doing here? Parlaying. It's our business. Parlaying, right there. Probably arguing over who should be the next mistress, I'm guessing. Alright, I'm leaving. A single glance at you makes me wonder. Why am I glancing at you? Why are you? Out now. How rude. <laughs> Told you to get lost, are you stupid? Just wondering how you survive this long with manners like those. Yes, is hi. A hand, a hand? Or is it just the fingers? Or the prints themselves? Do the names vary based on which one you're talking with? Because there's one called the Changeling and one called Clara. The Changeling was the one I spoke with inside of our father's house. This one's Clara. Why did you interrupt our argument? What's it to you? There used to be two mistresses, right? Nina and Victoria. One burned, the other soothed. Nina died, so Katerina replaced her. Then Victoria died, and Katerina was torn apart. Now there are no more mistresses. The town is unprotected. Do you follow? I do. Nina and Victoria are dead. Katerina is incapable, so their daughters are coming into power. 
There have always been two mistresses. Now there are three of us. That's too many. Only one will remain. Do you get just how important this is? And the lucky one will be you, of course. Perhaps. Good luck, then. Listen carefully, Bura. Look at me. I will make it so that you can only talk to people when it doesn't interfere with my plans. This is your first warning. If you get in my way again, I'll take your speech away completely, got it? <laughs> it's not your doing. I wasn't always able to speak to who I wanted before, either. I really do wonder what would happen if I just, like, stabbed him right now. Like, can I even do that? Or would they just be invulnerable? Let's go to where the kids gather at the station. 